Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the wide world you might be watching. I'm often asked by my clients and students, how do we create a running total in an Excel spreadsheet? For example, the goal that we want to achieve in this exercise is to say that we were saving certain amounts per week over, we'll say, a seven week period and be able to see the running total of those savings uh, in this particular column. In other words, the cells increment by the weekly savings. The procedure is really quite simple, but it requires a little bit of thinking outside of the square. And the key is to use a mix of absolute and relative references in the formula. In other words, an absolute reference using dollar signs will always refer back to the same cell in the formula whereas a relative reference will change the cell reference according to the column or row heading that is dragged through. Let's see how it works. Now we're going to assume a very simple case here in that little Billy is putting certain amounts into his piggy bank uh, each week uh, to achieve his savings. Uh, but of course the exercise could be contributions to a superannuation scheme, um, who knows what, but it's any uh, amount or number where we need a running total. So in the first week, little Billy puts $5 into his account. What we want to do here in this cell, in cell H7, is to put a formula, and that formula will be equals sum dollar G dollar seven because that's the cell we're referring to followed by a colon g7 and close the bracket and when we press enter we see that the uh, amount of five dollars is shown in the second week little billy puts six dollars into his account and tabs across and this time he goes back to that cell and uses the autofill button just to drag that formula down one row. And if we look now at our formula in that particular uh, cell, we see it's G7, that hasn't changed, but it's now adding what is in G8. So the third week, we continue on. <coughs> Excuse me. He puts $4 in, tabs across, goes back to that cell, and drags down one cell and our uh, running total has been incremented by four dollars. Now uh, in this week he puts five in, tabs across and hopefully we'll see 20 and that is exactly what we see. And he goes on and completes his uh, amounts here. So there we are, it's really quite simple. Another five dollars here, tab across Auto fill that one down and he has 20 and he would go on and do the same for the remaining three weeks. There it is, it's really quite simple but as I mentioned earlier we need to think a little bit outside of the square for that initial formula that is the one here because we're using $G7 to G7. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. Uh, we love likes, of course, and uh, any comments that you would care to make. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.